It's the year 2025. A new variant, NBA1, 8.1, is causing a lot of worry around the world. This variant is spreading super fast in communities. It's putting our health systems to a tough test once again. Lots of people are asking, what does this mean for us? Should we be worried? The appearance of NBA1. 8.1 reminds us that SARS-CoV-2 is a tough opponent. It's always changing and looking for ways to get around our body's defenses. This particular variant has shown a scary ability to spread quickly. Early information suggests it might also be able to get past some of the protection we've built up. So, we can't afford to let our guard down. Health experts all over the world are watching NB1, 8.1 very closely. They are working really hard to understand how it affects our health and our daily lives. This is a really important moment for all of us. The rise of NB1, 8.1 is definitely one of those challenges. In this video, we're going to look at what we know about this variant right now. We'll take a closer look at where it came from and what it's like. Let's dive into what this new variant means for the world in the middle of 2025. For a deep understanding and personal advice, download our full guide to the 2025 variants from the link in the description, omnisphere-digital.com. By the middle of 2025, the world has gotten used to living with COVID-19 in many ways. For some, the really urgent part of the pandemic feels like a long time ago. But the virus itself hasn't gone away. It has become a regular bug in many parts of the world. This means it's still spreading among people. It causes waves and outbreaks at certain times of the year, kind of like the flu. The big difference is how quickly and how much it can change. This leads to new variants popping up from time to time. These variants can sometimes change the game. The World Health Organization and national health groups, like the CDC in the US, are still keeping an eye on things. They are tracking these genetic changes very carefully. They group the variants based on how risky they might be. Some variants are called variants of interest, which means they are watched closely. Others that spread more easily or make people sicker become variants of concern. This constant watching is super important. It helps us guess when new waves of infection might happen. It also helps guide how new vaccines are made and what health rules are put in place. At the start of 2025, Virus experts were watching another variant, LP 8.1. LP 8.1 spread more easily than the ones before it from 2024. It caused some big local outbreaks in parts of Europe and South America. Health officials were watching it closely. It had several changes in its spike protein. These changes made people worry that it could dodge some of our body's defenses. For a few months, it looked like LP 8.1 might become the main one spreading around the world but things changed quickly when NBA1, 8.1, was found. This new variant was first spotted in Southeast Asia at the end of 2024. In the spring of 2025, it started to push out LP, 8.1, and other variants that were around. It rose to the top really fast. Information from its genes showed that NB1, 8.1, had a special mix of changes. These changes seemed to give it a big advantage in spreading. The World Health Organization quickly labeled NB1. 8.1 is a variant of concern. To really understand NB1. 8.1 comma, we need to look at its genetic code. Viruses, like all living things, have genetic material. For SARS-CoV-2, that's RNA. When the virus makes copies of itself, mistakes can happen when it copies this RNA. These mistakes are called mutations. Most mutations don't do much, or they can even be bad for the virus. But some mutations can give the virus new advantages. These advantages might include spreading more easily, or helping it hide from our immune system. NB 1. 8.1 has collected several of these important mutations. Scientists are especially looking at the mutations in NB 1. 8.1 quote S spike protein. The spike protein is the tool the virus uses to get into our cells. Some key mutations found in NB1, 8.1 include changes like SL452R and SF486P, which we've seen in older variants. But NB1, 8.1 also has new mutations, like a specific part missing in one area, and a new change called SK417N. This mix seems to make it better at grabbing onto something called the ACE2 receptor on human cells. Spreading around the world. 
How NB1 8.1 travels and what it does. The NB1 8.1 variant mostly spreads through tiny drops and particles in the air when we breathe. This happens when someone who has it coughs, sneezes, talks, or breathes. Because it spreads more easily, it can move around better in closed spaces. This is especially true in crowded places or rooms without much fresh air. The time it takes to get sick from NB. 1. 8.1 seems to be like other Omicron types. It's usually two to five days. People who have it can spread it even before they feel sick or if they don't feel sick at all. That makes it extra hard to stop it from spreading. The impact of NB1. 8.1 has been clearly felt in several areas, including parts of East Asia. In China, cities like Shanghai and Guangzhou reported big jumps in cases linked to NB. 1. 8.1 after a quiet period. This put new pressure on local hospitals and clinics. Hospitals are seeing more people needing to stay, especially older folks and those who already have health problems. Knowing the threat symptoms and health effects of NB. 1. 8.1 the symptoms you get with NB. 1. 8.1 are mostly the same as with earlier Omicron types. Most often, people say they have a sore throat, runny nose, cough, and feel tired. Headaches and body aches are also common. Fever is still a possible symptom, but it might not be as strong as with older variants like Delta. Some people might also get stomach problems like feeling sick or having diarrhea. Losing your sense of taste or smell, which was common with early COVID-19, seems to happen less with NB. 1. 8.1 comma, but it still can. As for how serious it is, the latest information on NB1. 8.1 is still being looked at carefully. Early reports from places like China and Hong Kong suggest that for most healthy and vaccinated people, getting NB1. 8.1 usually means a mild to medium sickness. This is like what we saw with other Omicron types, but mild doesn't mean no big deal. Even a mild case can make you feel pretty bad and mess up your daily life for several days. For some people, it can also lead to symptoms that last a long time, sometimes called long COVID. The key role of information staying informed and safe when things are changing like with the NB. 1. 8.1 variant showing up, good information is your best friend. It's super important to get your COVID-19 updates from places you can trust. The World Health Organization, WHO, gives updates and advice for the whole world. Your country's health department, like the CDC in the US, gives information for your specific country. Your local health departments also give good advice for your community. These groups base their advice on the newest science and information. Trust these good sources. Sadly, there's still a lot of wrong information and fake news about COVID-19, especially online. Be careful about what you read and share on social media. Look for information that is backed up by science and health experts. Be careful with amazing claims or miracle cures. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Check information with a few good sources before you believe it or share it.